Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner, back on my Keith Plays Minecraft series episode number two. Yes, that is right. We've made it to number two. Isn't that special? But today, what I'm going to be working on is this mine shaft. Well, it doesn't look like much of a mine shaft now, but I am probably going to end up making the hermit craft rail here with a drop down from drop up here down at the bottom i catch a rail and just come back up here to the top um but i need to get some things first not so much for the rail but for a future project so let me get some of this and talk to you about something um on october August 4th it's amazing how quickly you can go through the snowman um, we lost air conditioning in my apartment and last night it was fixed it is September 15th <laughs> September 15th so from October Octo August 4th to September 15th I we haven't had any air conditioning in uh, our apartment and if you don't know I live in South Florida and guess what happens in South Florida in August hot 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 let me put that back on clear up an inventory space so right now or last night when the AC guy finally came and they finally figured out what was wrong it was 78 degrees in the apartment with a window unit trying to cool down part of it um, so there was humidity in the air there was crap going on uh, air wasn't circulating we were getting sinus headaches and stuff from all the crap in the air but I woke up this morning and it is 71 degrees in this apartment Still a little bit cooler than, I mean, warmer than we'd like. We like to keep it at 70 because we're both big people and we like it cold. But, oh my god. The feeling of not having um, humidity in the air inside the house is amazing. Especially when it normally feels between 105 and 115 outside during the day. So I am extremely happy about that. I am so freaking happy. Um, so if you're wondering, I was just getting snow because I hinted at yesterday or my last video, which wasn't yesterday, but recorded partially yesterday that I, what am I doing leaving part of a tree up there? Um, I'm going to make my house out of snow. And dark wood. Maybe even spruce wood instead. Depends on what looks better. And I... There's a house in town. A $2.8 million house that I go to every single day. And I am going to base the basic construction of that house in this build but I don't have any pictures of the house and I think it would be kind of strange if I were to go there today and bring a camera and take a picture of the, their house yeah they're in Chicago right now hey trying to get some stuff man they're in Chicago right now but still it's not cool to take a picture of somebody's house and it's not even on like the real estate websites just their prices because they have never sold the house they are the original builders of the house it's only a couple of years old but I'm gonna do my best to create it and it's a white house and it's a Mediterranean style because everything down where I live is Mediterranean style um, so that will be in a future episode getting the house done but that's why i was just getting some snow from mr frosty up there and so i am gonna as i 
do my daily chores on video here, I am going to, uh, what am I going to do? Oh, I need a comparator for the rail line. I have yet to go to the nether. So I think in the next clip, you will see me go to the nether, get some nether quartz so I can build a comparator and take a look in the nether, see if there's fortress or anything cool nearby. And yeah, um, so that's what we're going to do. So I'll be back and we'll probably be standing outside another portal but where to stick it i might just stick it in in there because that's looking like home base and i had this idea yesterday we have these lizards or these geckos that run all around town if you've ever been to south florida you've seen them before they're cute little geckos and i was thinking of making a statue of a gecko kind of like clinging to the side of this mountain that's a project possibility I've never made a statue of 3D-ish, always made pixel art type stuff, so that should be interesting. But on to the nether. Alright guys, I am not in front of the nether portal like I had said, but I'm real close to one. My pick is dying a little bit and I don't have any extra diamonds. I'm actually down to one diamond. So I'm going to have to do some tunneling, but we need some nether, um, some quartz actually, so I can build a couple of comparators to make the elevator in here. This goes up to where the snow golem is, and then I'll make this tunnel look better. I'm not too sure the um, cart's supposed to be riding on this wall. And I don't know if I'm having this wall here, if it's going to affect the cart ride. So I may have to make this one wider in every direction so I can go up without getting hurt in the walls. But we'll make that decision when we're done. But for right now, this is what we're going to do. I need to get some nether... No, I need to get some quartz. And we'll see where this brings us. Um... I'm in a low level area, so I'm going to be low. Oh, some, ne some court. Okay, we're done. Let's go. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, I'm not a big fan of the nether. Uh, I might as well grab some of this while I'm here. Because, you know. Who doesn't like glowstone? Some people say it's ugly, but I think it's awesome. And I'm hoping if there's glowstone here, there's a way out. Don't hit that block. We all know what that means. So I'm not really going to explore the nether big time. Okay, we're just going to go back, dig ourselves out. I'm gonna go collect up the extra quartz I saw on the way out and when I get outside of this cave um, I'll show you what's going on but I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this quartz not to build with but I I don't know this is a single player I might build with it because when I do servers I don't build with quartz because it's too high a item so I'll be back. I am um, at light level 57. There is no way out of where I <clears throat> spawned in the nether. It is just a cave. So I'm going to hope I have a little tunnel to build here to get to the outside so I can see what's going on. Um, sometimes these tunnels can be a little bit long and I may not have enough iron. But if this pick wears out, I will go make another one real quick. If you don't know, lava in the nether, like the sea ocean floor is 63, lava is 31. So just think a half of 63. Wow. Okay. I'm in some sort of huge, massive thing. 
Um, I'm gonna go get another pick, and when I finally do make it outside, I will let you know. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, the pigmen are already infiltrating my base. So just alone in that cave, I was able to get a stack and almost a half of nether quartz. And in, also inside that cave, I got some glowstone, which is kind of weird. But I'm going to tunnel... Oh, there's two pigmen in there now. Make a little gold farm down in my tunnel. In my mine shaft, I should say. Can't believe I've used two picks to get out of this cave. The only good thing about having to dig a tunnel this long right at the beginning of the nether to try and get out into the open and see if there's any fortresses around is that usually when you build a uh, portal near your spawn, it's usually 100 to 200 blocks away from another fortress when you in get into the nether. So if I've already made a tunnel that is a couple hundred yard um, blocks long, that means when I get out of here, there's going to be another fortress staring me right in the face. Mark my words. That's exactly what's going to happen. I know it. Where's the end of this tunnel? Come on. Come on, baby. I have found an exit. And I am going to mark my exit. And look what I found. That's right. That took a little effort. Um, took a little roaming. But here... I am gonna conquer this. Mine, 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 all mine. Good. This is what we were looking for. Well, not necessarily. This. And look at that. All right. Let's get down there. Um, whenever you go into a new area for the first time it's always good to collect the the valuables of the area just like any time I go to the nether it's a big pain in the butt yay I got a saddle would be I'm not a fan of horses just like I'm not a fan of the nether so I'm gonna to give a uh, quick little tour of this fortress and get anything that's worthy then I'm going to get the flock out of here because me and nether mixes like oil and water. I'm not a big fan, even though I tend to spend most of my time obsidian. Ooh, I just doubled my diamonds. This is a pretty intricate fortress. It looks like there's a couple of fortresses merged together. So it's going to take me a little while to explore this. But at least now I know where there is one. There you are. I hear more. Come on, give me that skull I want. Dang it. Wither me. Wither me good. So I'm going to get out of here again. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. That is uncool. This is a perfect spawning... Uh, this is going to be where there's a blaze over there. There's probably a blaze over there. Blaze spawner. So, yeah. This, this fortress will do me fine. So, I'll see you back at the base building. Or maybe even a completed build of the elevator. Ah. Oh. Awesome place to make a gold farm out in the middle of nowhere Spawns are minimal just kind of sucks having to build above lava Big plans ahead of us Now if I can finish them and stay focused on one world instead of Splitting between three and going starting a video going. What did I do last time? so oh You're gonna make my life miserable, huh? Blaze rod. Thank you into the fire I'm getting out of here see ya so I have managed to find my way out of the nether as you see behind me I did lose a helmet 
but that is okay. I have done some work. Um, I did the second tunnel, the second tunnel of awesomeness. I was actually miscalculated. I thought these tunnels of awesomeness was 250 blocks long, but you know what? 25 torches at five blocks a piece is 125 blocks. So it's 250 blocks from there to the other end of the tunnel instead of 250 that way, 250 that way, which is, I guess, okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 125 blocks that way, you know, making it three wide and having the branches off to the sides and 125 blocks that way, same sort of thing. So that should be good enough to get all the stuff that I want and maybe find some spawners. And I did um, find some spawners in the very first episode and I forgot to mention them um, because they're not good spawners. Uh, let me tell you. Yes, let me tell ya. You know, I should always do this when I go into this view. I guess in 1.9, when you do this view, the uh, mustache goes away. But, <laughs> the mustache gives me personality. Yes, a personality. Okay, enough of that. I found spawners. I found two spider spawners and... I just killed the torch. And a zombie spawner. Um, the only spawners that I'm really interested in are skeleton spawners. So, yeah, spider spawner, pretty awesome. Two of them, actually. Uh, it almost reminds me of the Serenity Network. Um, two of them, they're about 20 blocks too far apart. They're like 20 blocks closer, I could have a dual spider spawner thing. But I, I went to work after I came out and I got my nether quartz and I've used up my nether quartz but I only made one comparator which means I have yes quartz in this build which I think is a first ever. I don't think I've ever ever built with quartz just because I hate the nether so much and I don't like getting it. But let's take a look. I was gonna make the elevator and doesn't this look familiar? This is on some sort of server that we keep seeing. It's actually a woolly design. I didn't realize it was woolly. I thought it was uh, somebody on Hermitcraft, but not woolly. I know Mumble Jumbo and I think Slip Gator. So these are my colors. Um, unfortunately, Slip and I have a affinity for diorite and blue. So um, unintentionally, but kind of intentionally, my builds will be kind of looking like his color scheme wise. Um, I don't have the massive ability to make weird looking designs like Slipgator does and make them work. I can't do his designs. Oh my god, he's crazy like that. But um, the color scheme will look kind of familiar. And it does work as most people have seen Hermitcraft videos, knows what it's all about. Basically, there you could put a minecart here to load up this because it's kind of hard to load up the dispenser with, <laughs> with blocks here. So I just put a, a hopper here, put a minecart here. So when you click this button, it actually shoots the minecart out, puts it on the rail, and then there's this little delay that comes back around and then sets the cart going um, after a certain time. Initially, their designs, or at least Mumble Jumbo's version of it, this um, power rail isn't here because... Um, if there's nobody in it, the cart won't make it around the corner here. So it will just slide back down. But I've noticed if I, hey, I missed the button. If I go like that, and I put a cart, and that shoots up, it goes all the way up to the very top. And eventually, in probably 10 seconds or so, you will see it drop back down here. And there is a hopper, there it drops, hopper that brings it back around and back into this dispenser. So, let's go for a ride. And there it shoots down. <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite part. I, I showed the ride to my wife, and she's like, no, you know, that gets me dizzy. Don't ever make me ride that again. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> I like dizzy. But when you come up here, obviously, you hit the thing. I've, I've made these before. 
hit the cactus, the minecart gets sucked up from the hopper, throws it into the hopper, throws it into the dropper, the dropper spits it out, and it falls back down into that water source down at the bottom, which goes into the other hopper and reloads the whole thing. My cats are arguing. Err! Meow! Um, my initial snow golem guy, he died, a witch ate him. <laughs> I came up here and was attacked by a witch and my golem guy was gone and there was a couple of snowballs here so I moved them more over into this corner and my plan over here is to make this whole platform area better looking um, so it look you know the dirt will be gone and this will be replaced by diorite of course and I made the stairway up here and there's the quartz and God, is quartz expensive? Jeez, the wheezes. And these are only half slabs. Gosh. So yeah, I will be using quartz, but not that much. Um, and I got to figure out some sort of railing here. I had to do a ton of terraforming. It kind of looks okay. It's good enough for now. And basically, I'm gonna make a path that goes over there or over to the farms I may just get rid of that little small base over there but I kind of want to keep it because it's the first crafting table on the world and I always like to keep that first crafting table at least and maybe even the chest with the first tools in it like my wooden pickaxe and stuff but this is um, basically the mechanics are all done now I just gonna make it beautiful and that's what I was working on here trying to figure out something I'll work on the path another day. So, when you're up here and you want to go down to the mine shaft, you just go in and you go for a ride. Ah! And there you are. And you want to go back up? <laughs> you know, I should stop holding torches while I do this. And then you go back up. And these walls are going to be fixed also, so it won't look all cavey like. And I'm trying to find a good design. That's my favorite part, the and the thing goes back down. I just love that for some reason. So um, along with this pathway, I'm going to have some sort of design that mirrors the angle that you're coming up, kind of make it look more an high anxiety-ish, because I think that would be cool. So when you come back up, you kind of get this uh, feeling better. We can do that faster. Ah, oh, sorry. Getting carried away. So, I'm going to work on this. And I'll be back for the last part of the episode with this hopefully complete. And maybe the designs and the walls. This is going to take a little while. I may uh, start it in this episode and finish it in the next one. But I'm going to replace all the walls with some sort of design that makes you go, ah! So, um... Look forward to that. <sighs> now that I've made you all dizzy, I will show you what I've done. Sorry for all the <laughs> circles I've been doing lately. Um, I finished this top area in total diorite and blue glass. Um, and I finished the stairs. I, I ended up taking away the diorite and just making it all half slabs of the granite type the whole way down. And the best part of the stairs, and I'll show you before I go, I'm going to have to wait for night, is that if you know me, I like the half slab light look, you know? If you put lights behind half slabs or stairs, you know, light kind of sneaks out, but it doesn't actually cause a... Um, a light level change so mobs can still spawn on this but it still kind of looks cool with it uh, being lit up from underneath and uh, you'll see that in a few minutes but basically I just did the plain old diorite floor I should change this I don't have enough diorite on me um, I'm gonna change that to normal unpolished diorite just to have a line in the middle kind of like this line there and that line there and I wanted to get rid of the torches. Um, I'm going to keep the torches at the very beginning. 
um, contradicted myself immediately, but those two torches are the only two torches that are going to be up here. Um, and I replaced most of it with glowstone, as you see here. And, of course, these blocks are going to be gone. So, the, the stone will be gone, but I'm going to change that when I decide what to do with the whole shaft of this tunnel. And, back here, I put Olaf, our friendly little snowman. He's got his little home now. So, I can, if I need, you know, stuff. There we go. And I put a chest for Olaf's insides. <laughs> so I still need the snow to build the house. So this is, you know, kind of like my side project. I just stuck a glowstone there and a glowstone underneath there. Even though it looks kind of dark over here. Um, it's still above light level problems. So I'm okay with that. This is what it looks like at night. And yeah, as you see, immediately mobs spawn on it. So you know the light levels aren't registering but I think that looks really cool it kind of stands out in the middle of all this nastiness and the coolness I don't know I just really 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 like the half slab stair stuff so um juke it juke it's not like running away from a couple of zombies is hard so I um think this looks cool and the top part of my elevator is done. Now, we gotta work on this bottom part. So that means I got some excavating to do around here. And that is gonna be part of what I'm doing next episode. So, right now, we are done. Now have a good day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Hope you enjoyed the revamping. Oh, I lost my shoes. Nice blue shoes, yes, yes, yes. But I lost the ones that protect me. <gasps> oh, dang it. I did get a Feather Falling 4 book, so guess what's coming soon? My diamond boots. Then I can shed the rest of my armor. But till then, have a good day. It's Keith for KMA's Corner. Revamping my single-player world. I'm hoping you're liking it so far. Goodbye.